Man, excuse the game sounds for a second. Uh, Ince has voted, so has Pavel. We're going into game, guys. Possibly the last match of the day. Pavel versus Ince on Lost Three, World. Two, one, fight. Okay, so Ince off the beginning. And he's going to be fighting against Pavel on... Okay, so against Sparty, Ince picked this as his map. And against Pavel, it's Pavel's map. So, I don't know. Ince should still be feeling okay here. And Pavel doesn't have much in the way of weapons at the moment. The rockets aren't half bad. And he's surely he wants to go in for a kill real soon. One rocket decent, another, but Pavel's LG. Ends upset there by uh, how much health Pavel seemed to have. It seemed to be never ending almost. I was surprised that the second rocket didn't kill Pavel. But they just weren't direct enough. Just little bits of splash. Oh, and Ince should have been able to uh, deny that 50 health bubble. It's actually almost given Pavel a second win, but Mega getting taken here by the Portuguese player. And uh, tiny bits of damage as well. Oh wow, Inns making a move upwards, he's got to escape! Nice direct rocket! This uh, red is going to be Pavel's, I don't know if the 50 health is going to be up. Not yet, so he's going to have to look elsewhere to uh, heal himself a bit. And, uh, well, Pavel... Topping up his control a bit. Let's see how he uh, controls the center map. I wanna Oh, he's gonna find Ince in the middle. He switched the grenade first, but Ince doing some good damage. This is gonna be a kill for him. 19 health remaining. He goes on to Mega. Should be easy access to red. Well, I say that now. Pavel firing down some spam. Ince has gotta try and get his way out of here without uh, suffering too much. And he's just waiting. It's like, hell, I don't even care if I have to wait till the next red spawns. He hasn't moved a bit, and uh, with five seconds till it spawns, it's it's not half a bad idea. Getting a bit of LG damage, and Pavel seems a little bit miffed as to how he let Ince get away with that. That is a, an amusing tactic to use. And, and look at it, Ince is about to be fully in control. He would have been 200-200 there, but not hitting so much LG, that actually hurt an extraordinary amount. Uh, he's going to go set up early for ready. <laughs> this has been his home here for some time. I wonder if Pavel's gonna jump down. Uh, Ince making a bit of move, doesn't want to get uh, backstabbed or anything. Tactical standing, as uh, I can see in chat. Yep, absolutely. That is correct. <laughs> Surprise, Pavel, I'm just on your left. Now, looking for the RG damage. You get a better angle from the, um, the middle level with the lightning gun. Let's see if uh, Ince is able to abuse it. Actually, it looks like Pavel brought the aim with him today. 21 health left. He's going to get the lead. And now he's going to be able to get red. So that Mega didn't do much for him. The red did uh, plenty. Uh, Ince did manage to get a lightning gun and a yellow himself. He's only about 100 armor behind him. Exactly, basically. But I wonder if Pavel, as well, how seriously is he going to take Ince? He surely has heard about the crazy antics that have been going on in the last two games. I see, uh, I'm sure that Pavel is going to be taking this 100% seriously. You can never really underestimate, underestimate Inns as, uh, well, he's been proving to us. Oh, Pavel, great. Didn't feel like chucking a rocket out there. Should have been an easy bit of damage, but maybe he would have taken some in return. Who knows? He's getting red and, well, getting the grenades, very important weapon. And spamming uh, those corridors and exits are uh, complete, very underrated. If you get those, if some people say that spam is bad, spam is bad, don't spam, it's horrible. But you know, the, the spam that the top level duelers uh, do is, well, the best spam you'll ever see. And it's part of really what makes them uh, such great players. It lock it zones people out of sections of the map. And you need to do that if you want to maintain control of an area. So, uh, moral of the story, spam is good. But not in Clan Arena. <laughs> Powell, not really losing out much there. I don't think Enzo's uh, going to have many scars from that fight. By slowing down of the game a lot, and there, that one's going to hurt a bit more. Uh, full grenade to the nuts. Uh, Pavel thought he was hearing hints coming out through the top. Well, 
Well, Stanley's double checking, and Imp goes back down. And uh, Imp's doing the standing still tactic almost. He's going to get the next yellow that spawns there. And Pavel's still hasn't gone to pick up the red Omega that is up and have been up for some time now. He's trying to hunt down Imp's, and he's finding it very difficult to do so. Imp's might get a position on him here. What a move by Imp's. Pavel. How how did you make such an error? That was that was crazy. And now Inst has a great amount of control. You don't often see Pavel making uh, mistakes like that. And I wonder though, can Inst keep the game clean? Can he be clean of errors? I mean, he might not have beaten Sparty, but he certainly took a map off him, which is already uh, very impressive. Nice little move by Pavel, getting some good damage up, but Ince is uh, returning fire quite well. We've got a jump up from Pavel, and his rock is here. Ince moving over the LG. And that uh, red armor certainly won't be on him uh, any longer. Wow, Pavel made a very quick move over there. Oh, it's the rock is the yellow. It's going to spawn in a second. Pavel misses a rocket, but it doesn't matter. He gets another. And he would have had about 70 health remaining after that fight, so he's in the lead now. Oh, what, what, Ince, what are you doing with the machine gun ad? Didn't you pick up that LG? That should have been free damage for it. Well, I, don't, I say free damage. It should have been some damage for him in return for the bit of splash that he took. Let's see comments in chat. Ince doesn't play the standard ABC, but still manages to get some kind of success from it. And yeah, that's right. Um, be interesting for him to uh, explain more really what goes on. We know we, we talk about his games afterwards, but it's it's very evident that he doesn't play a, a normal game when you compare other players. And look at that twister on the server. Maybe, maybe we're going to see some games from him today. Oh my god, Ince hiding around the corner. Red up in a second, but he goes down. And Pavel knows to expect some crazy things from Ince. And he managed to detect, detect this trap. Thing is, can he detect uh, what surely will be the others? The other crazy moves Ince spilled. Nice kill there. Ince shouldn't have been jumping across there. Throwing a kill over to Pavel's court. And there are three minutes to go. Maybe Pavel's going to be locking this one out. I say, what would it be like if... Uh, Ince could time like Pavel could. Ooh, things could be very different. Seen some nice plasma damage, but his ammunition is surely going to be running out. And comes in with a shotgun. A good rockers. Pavel defending. He's not sweating about this. Oh, right off the spawn though, almost getting the conversion. But Ince going to be limping away. Ouch! More painful damage. Pavel gets another in the end, and it looks like really. The, um, the floodgates have opened, and now all the kills are going in uh, favor of Pavel. And this is his map pick after all. And uh, Ince does say that is he doesn't really know how to beat Pavel because he's he's just like um, some kind of riddle sometimes. If you're not if you're not really experienced that competitively at such a high level. I know. I mean, I know that Ince is a high-level player, but he's he's not been competing for as long as the likes of uh, Sparty and stuff. Uh, it's quite difficult to uh, to crack Pavel. And it looks like we're going to be seeing GGs at some point. But six kills left. I uh, hope will be lost. But uh, Furious Heights next, and I'm sure Ince is going to be enjoying playing that one. Yeah, now that Twister comes with has a come on the server, maybe we're gonna see a load of his games back to back. I don't know. We'll have to see how that one goes. We've got 50 seconds remaining. Effectively garbage time at this point, even though Mega being taken. It's just standing there on the spot. And just waiting for Powell's rockets to fly into nothing. <laughs> Managed to catch that one. Good job, Ince. Right, uh, he kept it. He kept it close for the first five minutes. Uh, maybe six or seven minutes. But I guess he just uh, he lost it in the end, evidently. And we're going to see it go to match point for Pavel. Is he going to be able to get any more kills here? 
not the position you often see being used, but I wonder if uh, people could put this area more into their play. It kind of made redundant if someone comes from the other side of the map, though. And that's GG, guys. 9-2, to two, the final score. And it's a match point now for Pavel. Right on. So, uh, Pavel looking good. Looking like he recovered from his Sparty game. And, uh, well, he needed to. He doesn't want to have any difficulty going through the group stages. It would be a massive shock if Pavel didn't get through uh, the secondary group stage. But uh, a win like this, and um, presumably he won against Neutrino. And he should be looking good to uh, take himself through into the playoffs next week. And so that is going to be Furious Heights call voted. Yep, it is. I didn't see actually in the, the accuracy is just then. I'll, I'll be I'll be sure to check the accuracies a little bit more during this game. A little bit um, rusty, but um, we're good on it. Guys, we're going into map two, Furious Heights between uh, Ince and Pavel. <coughs> and checking Pavel off the beginning this time. He's going to be getting a uh, red spawn. Very very conventional start. Ints not able to um, find a, an opening for some early aggression. And Pavel's going to take two yellows, in fact. But Ints might be running around searching for that railgun quickly. He'll have the LG. Oh, we've got a rocket. He tried to set up for the air rocket. Pavel, he's got some rockets of his own. But Ints now a secured position on red. And it's been a very good uh, first 30 seconds now for Ints. And surely Ince is just going to turn up in a second and barrage through onto Mega Health unless he's willing to sacrifice this Mega in order to get Railgun. Looks like he did, but he got the shot in the end anyway. So losing on Mega Health doesn't seem so bad anymore. He's just going to go through a choke point, doesn't seem to care. Pavel. Uh, hurting a lot right now. 100 health isn't much. I don't think Pavel heard that red armor being taken, so he might be a little bit... There might be question marks above the red for him. Trying to sneak his way across, we're seeing lots of double backing. Let's see how he plays this uh, out of control. And if he's able to wean himself back into control. Oh, look at that. Suddenly two yellows and a mega. Ince takes a red. And now taking a rail, scores are going to be very even. Sorry, um, stacks are gonna be very even. If not in favor of Pavel now, That's after that yellow being taken. I think the only thing Ince has going for him is that Pavel doesn't really know when red is up. And again, if red's taken out, yep, Pavel is gonna continue not knowing the timing, but maybe gonna have an idea. He could have a, a roughly a, a five second guesstimate on when it's gonna spawn next time round. We've got this uh, mega up now. Is Pavel gonna make a jump across? It would be risky, and it's surely going to try and punish him with an LG or some kind of weapon. Alright, Ince waiting around for a while, being an absolute nuisance to Pablo at the moment. He just can't find his way over. He could go for the rocket jump if he wanted. Look at that, Ince trying to punish him. One rail landed by Pavel, but Ince has let him move over and take control of red armor as well. Ince, a uh, bit of an error there. Was it worth it? We'll have to see. Oh, Ince missing his rail, Pavel connecting with second in a row, missing the third. And he can uh, get a bit more rail ammunition. Again, these nice rockets from Ince are really keeping him in the game. Can he pull through though, 48 health left, both of the players looking for snap rails. But Pavel's able to back off, survive and get red, another rail from, uh, from Ince. Pavel is very weak. One rail by Ince could get the kill. He just can't quite hit it. And Mega is up. Taken by the Russian. Ince should be able to get a yellow if he wants to, but it would be risky. And Pavel moves into the room. Ince has really been letting Pavel take a lot of items. I'm going to check the scoreboard really quick just because I can see that. And it's not as much as I thought. Pavel has been getting more yellows and Megas though. I did see a uh, panel take a rail, I believe. I got a 13% LG, 30% rail. Not a great deal. I'm going to switch over to Ince. Three and a half minutes in and still first blood yet to be decided. 30% LG, that's the lowest we must have seen it all day for him. On 
and just heard the buzzing of the railgun. I was like, mm, going for that yellow is a bad idea. See, 360s, another 360. Yeah, they're just for good luck or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. Another switches. So let's get another yellow. He's doing well stacking up on this, and it looks like he's really not willing to give up first blood unless it's a, a very equal fight. And here's red getting taken. He should have timing on this, but we, we, we know what he's like with. And again, nice little move. Pavel couldn't see him behind that pillar. And Ince could win himself over the next red if he plays it right. Okay, here it is. There's a drop down, but Pavel gets a direct rocket. Ince has got to try and get away unharmed. Or oh, further unharmed. And he's going to be able to claw his way onto a yellow. So about 100, 100 ints. Yeah, able to keep something. But not much. And Pavel looking good to get a kill soon. Ince has got to hit some crazy shots right now. He's hitting a few nice rockets. But Pavel with about 80 collective health and armor left. Is going to be uh, getting that lead. It took five minutes to get a first kill. And immediately afterwards we're going to see a second Pavel converting. And not only converting the kills. Converting the control. And Ince is in trouble. Powell playing a really solid game here. It just doesn't seem like Ince really has much of a plan on how to tackle this monster. Good finishing rail here by Pavel. Uh, Ince with one good rocket. Second, not bad. Pavel looking for that rail shot but didn't want to be hit in the head of the rocket because he would have gone down if that were the case. Uh, this should be mega for Ince. Yep, he's going to be able to grab it. Oh, and red is well taken. Algae coming out of Ince. There's a, the follow-up though from Pavel. 4-0. And uh, Ince, what are you going to do? We've got to see some magic. We need to magicate something. I'll give you the credit, Ince. He was angry, so I didn't give him the credit before. On the word, that is. Um, but he is going to have to come to something. There's the red. And this has just got no, no choice really but to watch or listen to it uh, getting picked up. He's got a railgun though, so his long distance game can now come into play a bit. Mega has been taken, so it's not really going to know when that spawns. Although, once again, could have a, a good guesstimate. I think maybe Ince's uh, game has gone past the sell-by date after two fantastic matches against Neutrino and Sparty. Pavel showing to be maybe too much for him. But let's not count him out. Four frags behind. There is still time. And again, it's hovering behind. Manages to get the rail. There we go. A spark of something, but can he turn that spark into something else? Good rockets here from Pavel. Be careful going on to that red armor. Uh, he was indeed, <laughs> and picked it up cleanly. And it ends with a hunt, just over a hundred collective health number. This is this is bad. This is very very bad for him. But he's managing to hold positions on the map and pick up some items. Albeit he is taking random bits of damage. Maybe he can even get himself a mega now. Oh wow, Pavel right in front of him. Ince wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that rocket. What the hell? And so he's going to be listening, well, watching Pavel head over towards Red, of uh, Mega, sorry. That's two okay rockets. Algae from Pavel is so-so. Oh, that was one rail. Is Pavel going to chase through the corner? Oh, the direct grenade. That is painful. And that's going to shut down Ince for a little bit more time. Time that he doesn't really have anymore. I know. Red getting picked up by Pavel. His control is going to be immense right now. 36 half left. There's another rocket. And Pavel making it 5-0. And I believe we are going to be seeing a, a garbage time coming to action soon. Unless Enzo gets one of those stray tele telefrags. That happens once in a while. Another rail. Oh, not quite. Pavel going to survive. That could have been the first frag for Enzo on the border in a half minutes in. Well, that's no Pavel will continue to survive and continue to kill that clock.
Pavel uh, deciding to go towards the standing still technique. Uh, once used an in and Lost World. Pavel making it more successful though. He's got a bit of control! He's got to find something though. He just lost out on red, did no damage and took 80 himself. There we are, there's a bit of return fire. He's got LG. Now make a move, and if you can get the frag in like half a second, then maybe if you were the luckiest guy in the world, you could get a load of conversion frags. But I think uh, it's just waddling around the map instead and having fun that way. Stop picking up items and kill him. Alright, there it is. Pavel of the algae out. Ince realizing that maybe I shouldn't have had that. And, uh... I don't know if Ince is stressed at the game or... Stressed at himself. But he definitely shouldn't be. 6-0 for the time being. And Pavel looks like he's about to get another one in the bag. 7-0 to make it. Uh, jump over, trying to see if he can find him off the spawn. There it is. We're next to the red armor, but it's been taken by Ince already. So it is going to be GG, 7-0 to zero the final score, and Pavel's going to get the 2-0 on Ince. Not as close as uh, we saw Ince's game against Sparty. This time much more convincing. Ince could not hold his ground. That GG, nonetheless. Uh, let's see Twister Online, Pavel wondering about him, so uh, I'm going to call Bruno and uh, see what is going to happen.